So friends, today we're going to make this beautiful chutney out of curry leaves. And this goes so well with some dosas, idlis, rice and many other things. So let's start with today's recipe. So here I've taken about a cup of fresh curry leaves. I've given them a thorough wash. And then I'm going to put them on a kitchen napkin or a kitchen towel and pat them completely dry. That's very important that the leaves are nice and dry. So just pat them onto a kitchen towel or a kitchen napkin and set them aside. So now our leaves are all ready to be used. So about a cup of them. Now I'm using one tablespoon of udit dal, one tablespoon of dhane seeds or coriander or dhania, half a tablespoon of cumin seeds or jeera seeds, one fourth tablespoon of asafoetida or hing, three fourth of a tablespoon of red chili powder or as per your taste, three four tablespoon of jaggery or ghoul and one teaspoon of dry tamarind. This is two tablespoons of peanut powder, about five cloves of garlic and some salt to taste. Now first I've heated a pan and I'm just going to roast these curry leaves till they're nice and crispy. So this will take about three to four minutes on a low to medium flame. We're not added any oil. We're just going to roast them till the curry leaves or the curry patta becomes nice and crispy. So you get the lovely aroma of the curry leaves as you roast them. And it's a beautiful aroma. So you can see now that the texture has changed and it's become more on a grayish green side and it's a little on the crispy side. So roast this. This is the most important part for that perfect chutney texture. So you're going to uh, roast them completely till they're nice and crispy. So even if you press them, you'll get this lovely crispy sound. So once they're roasted, we're going to transfer them into a bowl. You can turn off the heat at this point. And now in the same pan, after wiping the pan nice and clean, we're going to add just about one teaspoon of oil. Now once the oil starts to heat up, we're going to add the udid dal. And we're going to fry this udid dal for at least about half a minute. Next, we are going to add the coriander seeds and again fry them. This is on a very low uh, heat. Next, we are going to add the cumin seeds or the jeera seeds and we are going to fry that well too. Next, we are going to add the hinga or asafoetida and fry that a little. Next, we are going to add the garlic and we are going to fry the garlic too till it turns a little light brown in color. So all this on a low uh, flame. So fry this well. And then after about a whole minute or so, once everything is fried well and the lovely aromas of the garlic and the spices, uh, you know, start filling your kitchen in. Just put off the flame and add the peanut powder. So remember to put off the flame when you add the peanut powder. The reason being is that the peanut powder is already roasted. Because this is homemade peanut powder. All I've done is I've roasted the peanuts very well. Then I've peeled them and then I've ground them to a coarse powder. Now we're going to add this mixture to our mixer or blender. So add them and no water is to be used in this chutney at all. Next, we're going to add the crispy curry leaves that we roasted. Next, I'm going to add some salt to taste. Next goes in the red chili powder. Then goes in the jaggery or the ghoul. Now I have grated my ghoul so that it is of a nice uh, consistency and uh, you know, so just grate it 
on a normal cheese grater and then i've added the tamarind flakes and then i'm going to grind this to a very fine powder so just mix everything well and again blitz it once or twice and your chutney powder is all ready from the lovely curry leaves this uh, my entire kitchen has got this beautiful aroma of this lovely chutney and believe me friends it's so so delicious it goes well with even plain curd rice or anything now uh, one tip over here is that you can store this chutney for months together just ensure that you put it into a nice dry clean glass bottle with a nice air tight cap and another tip i'd like to give you here is whenever you're using the chutney use a very dry spoon ensure that your spoon is nice and dry don't use a damp spoon don't use a wet spoon keep so that your spoon is completely dry and also keep this in a nice cool place you don't need to refrigerate it but keep it in a nice dark cool place in your kitchen and see that the lid is nice and air tight that way this chutney remains for you know months together so all of us have got so many curry leaves in our garden so this is a very nice way to use it and it's very healthy also so i hope you like today's lovely recipe